It is 930. Oh my goodness, what a day. <laughs> a brand new dream home, a brand new car, just two of the prizes that you have a chance to win when you spend $100 to reserve your dream home ticket. Now, we started this morning at 6 a.m. with 30,000 tickets. I can tell you that more than 18,000 of those have already sold. It's barely been six and a half hours. Three and a half. I'm sorry, three and a half. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> we told you that they would go fast. I promise you they will continue to go fast. So you can scan the QR code on your screen. You can go to WBTV.com slash dream home. You can call the number. If you're in South Carolina, you have to call the number um, because of ra raffle regulations. But listen, be patient with us. Keep on the line. When you buy your ticket today, there are lots of other great prizes that you are going to be eligible to win. Mary, tell us about those, please. Well, Kristen, <laughs> you're eligible to win a $5,000 Visa gift card courtesy of Borough Welto and Cove Orthodontics. But again, you do have to get that ticket today. It is our first day prize. It's extra incentive to go ahead and pick up that phone. And a huge thank you to the 18,000 ticket buyers that have been, you know, out there buying tickets and all the things already. But Dr. Sam Burrow of Borough Welto and Cove Orthodontics is joining us live in the studio this morning. We got lots to get to. But first, I just want to say thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us on. And yeah. thank you for your support of St. Jude. What leads you guys to keep being partners of this? Absolutely. So this is something, as you know, we've done for a number of years, and we couldn't be happier to give back to St. Jude um, for a number of reasons. You know, getting that overall survival rate over 90% for childhood cancer. Um, but most importantly to us is the parents never have to worry about that bill. Yep. So we want to continue that. So giving back there, um, these, you know, initiatives that y'all are doing to keep that process going is just fantastic. Well, we thank you for your partnership. And that's actually a great transition because talking about bills is kind of one of the first things that come to mind when you think of braces oh, yeah. and orthodontics for your kids, right? I, I think that um, a lot of people are almost afraid to go to the orthodontics or mm -hmm. and, and they don't know what to expect. So we're going to break down a little bit of this today. We thought it'd be helpful for you at home as well. Um, some of these barriers for braces. So let's start with um, when someone should be going to an orthodontist with their kiddos? Yeah, that's a great question that we get all the time. And we would love to see them about seven or eight. And that seems early. Yeah. Everyone's going, wow, I think I have braces that early. Yeah. And a lot of times you don't need treatment there. But what that lets us do is what we call look under the hood. So we see all the developing adult teeth, the adult teeth they're in. And that can really just save uh, your child a lot of you know, hardship when the orthodontics does come to fruition about 11 or 12. Um, there are some things in about 15 to 20 percent of kids where you might need like an early treatment to fix a traumatic bite or something like that. Mm -hmm. But it's just great to get in and, and um, learn the process, get to know your orthodontist and uh, go from there. But if you haven't come in at seven or eight, it's perfectly fine. It's to come not in. too late. And there's probably some adults wondering, hey, because I know there's all kinds of things now. Invisalign, oh, yeah. braces, you know, and all the things. So um, I think a lot of times that you also think about it being that straight smile, but it's more than that. Yeah. Absolutely. So what we like to look at, too, is the, the two different aspects of it. Everyone loves to come in and get the beautiful, great looking smile. And we obviously do that with braces and Invisalign. But the most important part that we think is the health aspects that come with it. So um, whether you're an adult, whether you're a kid, getting those teeth to fit together well can really sustain that health for the overall teeth for the long period of time. So you're not getting recession, you're not cracking teeth. Um, you really have a set your system up to be healthy. With um, sometimes finances being a barrier, question for you when it comes to insurance, and if I do bring my seven or eight year old in, um, how often is that covered, like a, just a check under yeah. your plan? So the cool thing about the orthodontic, well in our office, the checks are completely complimentary. So mm -hmm. that you come in, we're not charging your insurance, we're not charging you office visit fees, it's simply for education. Mm -hmm. So there's really no uh, loss there. You just come in and then once the treatment starts, you know, we have a lot of different mod modalities to make it affordable and that type of thing. There are like payment plans and things like that. Absolutely. It seems like a lot. I mean, again, it's a process. Oh, right? yeah. and sometimes you have braces for a year or two years, depending on the needs, right? Um, you guys have several locations. 15 now? 15, yep. So we uh, are very convenient in the greater Charlotte area. Uh, we just opened down in Ballantyne and this next month we'll be down in Fort Mill. A new Fort Mill location in August. That's pretty cool. Um, for those who are, um, uh, and anyway, I think we're looking at some of the video here from some of the locations, um, you know, wondering too, what is the um, 
what's the best way to go about knowing whether, you know, maybe someone is already getting work done for their kiddo and they have yep. questions or they're not sure, you know, is there an option for a second opinion on braces? Because I do think sometimes you can get into it and go, are we doing the right thing for our kid, right? Yeah, absolutely. And we always say, uh, typically you can go to your orthodontist and, and talk through those questions. But if there is something where maybe you haven't started treatment or you just don't have the right answers, mm -hmm. come in and see us. Again, our consultations are completely free. Um, we have... Uh, evening appointments, morning appointments, and even weekends. So we try to be very convenient for everybody to come in and uh, do it on their schedule. One other big question I have is that I know people, a lot of people want to wait until their kid is older than 11 or 12 because you feel like their face is still changing and growing. Yeah. With people who are hesitant, what do you usually say to them if they feel like 11 or 12 is still a little bit too early for those braces? So I would say come on in, let us discuss that at the office because there are certain things that we can catch at 11 or 12 that we simply can't do at 14, 15, 16, or adult patients. It's too late at that um, point. It's too late at that point. Sometimes you can catch some growth. Sometimes you can catch teeth that are erupting for some spacing issues and that mm -hmm. type of stuff. So it's really good education. Sometimes the teeth don't even look crooked, but it's a bite issue. So um, again, nothing to lose on these consultations. We make them real quick and easy and convenient. So come on down. Good information to know. Okay, back to St. Jude real fast. Mm -hmm. Look at the people and tell them to get their ticket. Go get your ticket. We've been supporting them a long time. This is a great cause. We're super excited to be a part of it. Great job. You can stay. Yeah, right? There you go. If you want to learn more, too, uh, about the uh, Borough Welsh and Culp Orthodontics, we always want to put their info on their screen there, their website, Instagram, and Facebook page. Kristen, over to you. I mean, he convinced me if I could buy a ticket, I would after that. <laughs> All right, listen, these tickets are selling really fast. We've been telling you this. We've been saying that it would happen, and boy, you proved us right today. That is for sure. So if you want one of these tickets, again, the last update, oh, we just got another update. Almost 19,000 tickets gone. Remember, we only had 30,000 to start. So I don't know. If you don't get it today, you might be in trouble. Um, all of those prizes, too, that Mary was talking about before, you're eligible for all of them if you get your ticket today. You start to lose uh, options is, is the longer you wait. So just go ahead and get your ticket today. All the information right there on your screen, and we'll keep you posted as these continue to sell. Oh, it, 19, it must have been Dr. Burroughs. Like, I, I think that was what it was. Actually, it that over. number came in right before he called people out. Oh. So now I fully expect we'll be well over 20,000 before we know it. We're going to get that update for you.